Good afternoon and welcome everyone to the Ultimate Trading Webinar for Beginners. My name is Daniel. I'll be giving you the webinar today. Before we will begin, as always, I would like to make sure that everybody can hear, hear me properly and that uh, you can see the chart here. Let me expand the uh, chart over here. If you can please comment in the question section that uh, the chart is visible and the sound is in a proper level. Very good, all right, excellent. Thank you, Christian, thank you, Lee. Okay, so we're just gonna begin. Uh, of course, I will explain what will happen in the webinar in every step, and of course, we will dive to business. So initially, we'll have a quick introduction to Avatrade, what we have in our website, uh, what services we offer in our facilities to, to assist new clients, and of course, uh, also advanced uh, traders. And on the second part, then we'll move to the second part, which will be a little more practical in regards to um, sell and buy and pending orders. We'll also have a nice guide through regarding the platform. As you can see here, there is a nice toolbar with uh, some interesting things on it. And lastly, if we'll have uh, some spare time, so we'll have analysis. No guarantees, but we'll see how fast things will go. Um, you can ask anything you want along the webinar even though i'm going to give uh, a couple of minutes every end of segment to ask whatever you want but still if something is on your mind feel free to use the question section on the right side to put down whatever question you want uh let me see that okay so i'm gonna go that the webinar I, i'm gonna make sure that the webinar uh, is recorded and this is a great time to say that the webinar will be uploaded to YouTube to our channel anyway so whoever needs to whoever can stay till the end or just join in the middle so you can enjoy the webinar later on in our channel uh, yeah so I'm gonna make sure that the webinar is recorded and then we will begin let's go through this lovely disclosure here before that so it's important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for informative purposes only and should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice, a recommendation, or a suggestion. So just in a few moments, I will make sure that the webinar is recorded and then we will begin. Thank you very much. All right, excellent. So we are going to begin. Uh, as I said, and we will open with a quick explanation to Avatrade. Uh, who are we and what we are offering? Let me put down a notepad just to put down some stuff. Diego, you wrote something in foreign language, which I'm not sure that I understand. If you can put your question down in English, that would be great. Uh, yeah, so like I said, my name is Danny. This is the Ultimate Trading Webinar. We are now beginning with the introduction to Avatrade. So as many of you know, we are a licensed company. We have nine licenses worldwide. Company started 2006. Um, we have customer service to assist you with all kind of customer service inquiries. And you can access them through the chat over here or through CS at avatrade.com okay and for the trading aspect you have a senior account manager which can address uh, just account manager that can assist you with that can assist you with uh, trading inquiries so all the trading aspects can be addressed by a senior account manager and customer service inquiries can be addressed by the uh, customer service uh, the platform that we are seeing now is called the uh, Web Trader, which is also applicable on your personal device. We also have the traditional ones, MT4 and MT5. All right, MetaTrader 4 and 5. We also have Ava Social, which I highly, highly recommend to um, see at least once and the reason is that this is a social media platform which means you can see lists of uh, <laughs> hello everyone uh, which you can see uh, lists of traders to follow them and to copy them and to even link your account to their uh, account 
of course enjoy that you can download that for free no problem and you have the other options which is quite uh, self-explanatory it's an options platform also i highly recommend to see uh, i highly recommend to see on the website uh, there is a nice video i believe a minute or two that really shows the interface from the inside and explain about the functionalities it's very nice uh, whoever is trading options uh, what's unique about the platform that I'm showing you now is f there are few things. One of them is called Ava Protect, which I'm going to explain in a minute. And we also have some information that is already um, showing you right here. We don't understand fully what it means, but in in few minutes you'll understand how useful that is because those things you cannot see on the when you're trading with MT4 or MT5, you you don't have those things, okay? You have to get it from somewhere else. So in here in the platform, it's already here and that's very convenient. Okay, so I'm going to, we have a question here. I'm a beginner using MT4. Is the is this webinar is useful for me? Yes, of course. Coming from Ogana, right? Your question, Ogana, is if this webinar is relevant for you. So I'm going to open and say that Whatever I'm teaching is universal. Is universal. Uh, there is a question here. You had promised a discussion about Euro USD, but you forgot. Look, whatever I promise, if you don't have it written, so no, I'm just kidding. If if we'll have time, so of course I will. Uh, we'll have a discussion. But this is the ultimate trading webinar for beginners. So there is there there are no. Uh, discussion in the webinar unless of course we'll have some more time so I'm sorry whatever uh, discussion you want to make this will have to happen in another uh, forum perhaps perhaps okay so we're gonna carry on uh, the question that Ogena has asked if you are an MT4 or MT5 user whether this webinar is relevant for you or not so as I was explaining whatever I'm teaching right now is universal this is the core, this is the basic for beginners to uh, to begin with, okay? Essentials for beginners. So it doesn't matter what you're using as long as you implement what we're teaching here. And of course, it's relevant. Uh, perfect. So we're going to carry on. Like I said, we're going to explain about something called Ever Protect. Protect. Okay, and the idea that Ever Protect lets you protect the position for a certain uh time frame right and whatever you lost during the coverage you will get back all right uh boljon you're asking please tell us the withdrawing the profit from the account there is a webinar tomorrow that is a live q a that you can ask this question there and you will see how it's demonstrated on the ch on the screen how it's been done there is a question here by marcelo do you s use this platform in parallel to mt4 or is it just to me um you can you can it's not a problem you can use both of them and use the information that our platform is provided so you can get the information from the web trader and execute on MT4. No, no contrast, no contrast. Okay, so guys, we're going to carry on with Ava Protect. Thank you for the wonderful questions. And with Ava Protect, we're going to protect the position for a certain time frame. Whatever we lost during coverage, we'll get back. Excellent. Now, why do I need protection right from the wh why do i need my protection to be my position to be protected okay what exactly do i need protection from so we're gonna put down a chart here we're gonna use we're gonna use silver we're gonna use gold okay at this at this point i think oh, we used gold last time i think we're gonna use silver this time okay and what we're going to do is we're going to put down two scenarios there is no need to know what i'm doing i know that i'm doing it a bit brief but i will explain later on how to get there uh 
please. Can I see, should I use the chart technical analysis? Guys, whatever questions you have about analysis, please, please uh, just bear with me uh, five minutes. Just ask it whenever you, we start with the practical part. Now, this is mainly an introduction. I'm just explaining about our protect, and then we will begin with the actual, with the, uh, with, with the basics. But right now, this is for the sake of the, of the introduction. Okay. Uh, okay, so the price for silver now is $21, okay? And we are going to explain how Iva Protect is going to help us protect the position and why. Okay, so we understand that if I'm placing a buy now, we have two kinds of positions, buy or sell. Buy means that I'm uh, planning the silver to go higher. Um, sell means that I want silver to go lower. We're going to paint this guy in green. again no need to know what i'm doing so fast because i will explain about it later on uh so i'm planning the 21 to become 21 and a half and okay and the 21 i'm placing here something called take profit and stop loss okay so again simply if i'm buying and it gets from 20 to 21 it will be half a dollar and from 21 to 20.5 that's again half a dollar okay and i can protect my position now for every ounce that i take let me put it down here when buying or selling one unit over one dollar movement equals one dollar and we're going to put down another two two lines here okay and this will be 10 and this will be 10 and it would make sense right so whenever i have a dollar uh, whenever i buy one unit and it moves a dollar we're going to get a dollar because it's half a dollar and we're going to take 100 units so this should lead us to a uh, 16 dollars oh sorry we're going to change that okay and we're going to change this one as well okay now what's what what exactly is happening here okay what is happening here let's also change this guy okay so i'll explain and then and then it would make more sense so we are now looking at silver price for silver is uh 20.9 or 21 we just rounded it up okay and we are using something called our protect to protect our positions we just said that when we are buying our potential uh our ambition is that it will go higher and when we are selling so vice versa now if i'm buying and it doesn't go higher it goes lower instead what happens is i'm gonna lose money yeah i'm gonna lose some money how much am I going to lose? Exactly the same idea, right? For every dollar, for every unit that I'm buying, one dollar can be gain or loss. So when I'm buying when it's 21 and it gets to 20.5, okay, which is half a dollar, half a dollar multiply a thousand gets me to 500, right? Now, because I'm using other protect and I, God forbid, don't want to lose those 500, okay, let let me put down two scenarios here. Okay, so I'm using something called take profit and stop loss to, to understand my potential uh, profit or loss. Okay, what it does, the take profit, what it does, can you show us your calendar so that I'll know this is a true webinar? I don't plan on doing that uh, musa i don't know how the calendar is gonna let you know that the webinar is real but you'll have to <laughs> to take my word on it okay great so um as i was explaining we're going to use take profit and stop loss to impressionate how much we can potentially gain or lose the way that it works is simply because take profit is uh, gonna close my position with the profit on the price that i stated which is here and stop loss is going to do the same thing just with a loss so take profit is going to take my profit closing the position stop loss is going to close the position with stopping my loss now if i'm planning to uh, silver 
to get to 21.5. So I'm stating it stating here 21.5 and this is my potential outcome if i'm afraid that silver is going to go any lower than 20.5 so 20.5 is half a dollar down and my potential loss is that all right um scenario a will be when we make a profit scenario b will be with when we may when we have losses Okay, and this will help us understand how AvaProtect is going to help us and how efficient the product is when using it this way. Now, we're going to put here profit. What is in here? 500. 510. Sure. Fee. What is the fee? Fee. In every position, we're going to pay a fee, right? Regardless if we're going to pay, uh, we're going to we're going to make a profit or loss. It makes no difference as as long as I have marked here the box. As you can see, I mark here the box, so it's going to use the other protect to protect my position. Now it changes. It changes when I'm changing. Uh, I think it was it was lower than that. Maybe when I change the lot size. Let's see. No, it has it makes no difference. But on other assets, you can choose lower time frame. You can choose on other assets, uh, currencies, and so on. So you can choose lower than uh, than that. Okay, you can choose one hour, two hour, three hour, uh, three hours, up to two days. Okay. In this case, what happens is we take a thousand units that can lead us to five hundred, and the fee that we are paying, we are paying is one. 75 okay so the net value that we end up with we're going to calculate it in a minute okay and the loss loss will be the same this one is going to be a minus right this one is a plus this one is same as the other one we have here the fee. What is the fee? One seventy-five dollars. Okay, and the loss that returned is also five hundred dollars. Perfect. So the net value that we have got. Let me just put it down here somehow. Want to show you guys calculations as well right so this is what we end up with yeah so without ava protect i would have lost 500 and stay with loss of 500 right this one is a plus yeah and in here because i've paid a fee i have 325 actually this is um 35 yeah so this is how it's going to look like guys when if you cover the position so what happened is if you've lost you get the money during the coverage you get the money back and if you've gained profits so again you pay the fee and you you uh, it will be re reduced as soon as you close the position do we have any questions at this point about Ava Protect or anything that I've explained so far? Feel free, feel free. Otherwise, I'm moving on to the practical part. So if you have any questions or something is not fully understood, feel free to ask me now. Are you saying there is no net loss if you pay the fee? That's okay. Coming from Marcel, there is this is the idea when when we are stating that the position will be protected. Yes, of course, absolutely. As long as I pay, as long as I have uh, Ava Protect applied, I will get the money that I've lost during the coverage. Okay. Keep in mind. Look. I want to show you something here, but it's not guaranteed that it will go all the way down. It could all it could also go to here, right? Is an example. It doesn't have to be trigger. It doesn't have to trigger the stop loss. It could stop uh, midway. 
it could stop midway and then if it goes only two hundred uh, twenty cents right if it goes 20 cents what will happen is how much will we lose let's see okay and then and then the fee 175 will be almost as much as our loss okay i'm new to the webinar this is my first time welcome all right are there any questions uh is there a minimum balance in account to be able to see ever protect option i don't think so i think everybody can see that but uh to use to use the feature like i said there is a fee Lestino, can you please show 15 minutes time frame Mm -mm. let me see 15 minutes there you go 15 minutes this is what you you've asked right yeah so we are uh moving on guys we are moving on is ever protect in mt4 yes uh actually no sorry sorry my bad my bad this is an excellent question coming from uh nympha no no other protect is not applicable with the other platforms beside other uh, uh the web trader and other go okay let me let me show it to you other protect is only only on web trader and other go yeah not applicable on mt4 or mt5 guys we are moving on do we have anything else to ask mm, i see the options via mobile but now when i open and try uh, I, I suggest you'll contact your senior account manager because it's my beyond my understanding to understand why it's not uh, there. I guess you can send a screenshot to your account manager and you can fix it. But I just I, I don't know the cause. Which time frame chart using in intraday? Uh, good question, good question. But guys, let's move on, move on, and then I can gladly answer all of your questions at least i'm going to try so we're going to put down a chart this is the end of the introduction guys we are finally uh we are finally down to business okay so let's pretend that i'm a new uh trader i have absolutely no idea what's happening here a lot of numbers fancy things very very nice i'm just going to say that to get to the web trader to get to this platform all you have to do is just to log with your email and password to avatrade.com and then you're supposed to be uh on on this screen and it's going to look very much like that with the platform folded so if you want to expand the platform all you have to do is just click on the two arrows and then bam okay otherwise it's going to stay like that which is less convenient to analyze um okay so like i said i'm a beginner i have absolutely no idea what's happening all i know is that i want to make money and i'm looking for a good asset what i find on the left hand side is forex indices crypto commodities maybe something from the indices nice things nikkei all right what about cryptos okay bitcoin over here commodities agriculture how is the wheat doing is wheat doing well not at all wheat has gotten oh this days actually this is for educational purpose i think this this actually could be pretty good for us okay so i've i have uh, picked wheat manually but i could just as much put it in the search field and then it appears uh again we're going to expand the chart to see it this way and what what will happen now is we will begin with analyzing wheat okay we will begin with composing a position first we're going to state the asset that we are uh, looking at right now wheat okay our first step is to state the goal okay but before we do that, any of that we will have a guide through about the platform so going from left to right here we can change the time frames time frames for what those are japanese candlesticks 
The reason that we're calling them is because by the nature of those candles, each of them has a different uh, shape, okay, which is determined by the fluctuations. So we will uh, see that in a moment. And when I'm changing the time frames, it changes the shape of how the chart is looking like. As you can see right now, it seems like it's uh, falling drastically. If I'm looking at uh, the weekly one, so just just the recent uh, two weeks, it seems like it fell, but not as it shows on the uh, the days. Hours look completely different. We see here the downtrend, but again, it looks completely different. And this is the core of analysis, right? To pick the right time frame to uh, begin with. Okay. If I don't like the candlesticks, I can use the line. But I'm going to tell you up front that this line is, at least for me personally, it's less uh, it's less useful. Okay, we'll understand in a minute why. Uh, I don't get any information from the candles, guys, unless I'm changing the crosshair from no crosshair to regular crosshair, right? As you can see before that, nothing, right? Nothing. I'm pointing on the chart, candles, clicking, nothing happens. When I'm changing to the crosshair, suddenly I get information on the left corner, uh, left top corner, okay? As you can see here, every candle is uh, simply day, one day, right? 24, 23rd, 22nd, 21, weekend. Um, same apply for weeks, right? As you can see, this is last week, the 20th, uh, 13th, 6th, last month, uh, two months ago. All right, here, if I want to split the chart, we're not going to do that now. Here, if I want to have an indicator so I can click and drag, right? I want. Um, actually, let's, let's have it. Let's have it here, just keeping us uh, updated. And in here, all the nice things that I have put on the chart a minute ago, right? Will it work? Will it work? Yes. Okay. Right. So by ju judging uh, wheat, by looking at the chart right now, it seems like wheat has gotten to something called support. Uh, yes, support. So if I'm looking at this chart, as if it would have been a room. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this guy and that guy, and I will explain about support and resistance, and then we can carry on with ease. So, guys, the very, very basic of analysis is called support and resistance, okay? Now, if I'm looking at this chart, very much like a room. So I have here several levels of support and resistance, right? And what it does is it let me indicate those edge points, they let me indicate the proportions of how much can we uh, move. Now, okay, so this is the guide through. We are done with uh, showing the buttons here on the toolbar. Now, when I want to make money with wheat, and like I said, I have absolutely no idea what's happening here. All I see is few uh, red candles, few uh, bearish candles, okay, and few bullish candles, and it seems very nice. Now, if, for instance, like I said, this is this is like a room for me. So the the upper levels are resistance, the lower levels are support. Okay, so this would be the roof, roof, and this would be the floor, right? Does it make sense? So if I'm looking here at this level, we're going to get rid of this box, right? What have I done? So this is the bottom. And this is the top few levels, right? 
So if this is the bottom, and I think that 706 is the price that wheat has been across for the past, let's see how many days. This is today, this is yesterday, two days ago, and a, uh, last week, right? So it's if it's been around that price, and it hasn't, it, it didn't go any farther down, right? I have a reason to believe that wheat can potentially go where do you think that uh, wheat can go if it hasn't gotten any lower, guys? What do you think? Let's 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 look at the chart. We have a few red candles here. We have wheat stuck on this area between 706 to that price for a few days now, almost a week. So what do you think that can happen next? Will it keep going down or it will go up? Let's suppose that we believe that wheat can turn around, okay? Just a little bit like it's done here, okay? Let's look at this candle. Let's look at this candle. And we have a reason to believe that wheat can flinch up another few dollars. Now, if, if I think that wheat is going up, is that enough? Is, okay, so, uh is the direction only enough to uh to take a position right this is my question let's suppose that let's suppose that i'm telling you guys wheat is heading up i didn't specify how much i just said that it's going up I didn't say when, I didn't say until what price. I just let's look together. Okay, let's look at one hour. You see, this is red. I believe that whenever it gets to 705, it will go up. But I didn't say how much up. So what can happen is I'll take a buy here. Here, right? 705. And it will go up to roughly here. And then it will go down even lower to here. As you can see, this happened on the 28th. This is three days ago, right? So we have up and then up, uh, down. So this could be a very big problem for me. So the, the, only the direction is not gonna be helpful enough. What I need to do is I need to have proportions of how much down or up can we possibly go. So what can I do? I can analyze the candles. Okay, first I'm gonna state a goal. So only the direction, the answer is absolutely no. Okay, so I have a goal and my goal is let's say a thousand dollar, thousand dollars in a week. Why is that important to state the time? Why can't I just say that I wanna make a thousand dollars whenever? Who knows? Why must I state the time that I'm planning to trade? Okay, was, why must I state the time frame that I'm planning to trade through? This $1,000, why must I decide if I'm making it in a day or I'm making it in a year or I'm doing it in an hour? Why Why must I, I uh, cover that? Let's see in a minute. Okay, so for every trader has its own style. You can't be scalping intraday and swinging altogether. I mean, you can, it's not impossible. I know people who, who do that, but to tell you that you can be master of all fields, um, that's not usually how it works, okay? Especially not for beginners. So when I summarize the time that I'm planning to analyze, I know a few things. A, I know which candles I'm looking at, right? If I'm analyzing hours, if I'm analyzing uh, days, weeks, months, okay, how will I know that? I can, how can I know? Maybe I'm analyzing minutes and I'm planning to sustain this position for a week. How relevant is that for me? Not really, right? So when I'm stating the time, I also have proportions what to expect. The third will be the movements. So we said that only the direction is not enough to take a position because we must know if we think it's gonna go up, so Danny, how possibly, how much up can wheat possibly go? 
right? Will it get to here? Will it get to here? Can it get to here? What do you think? 750, is that reasonable in a week? Let's see. Okay, apparently, apparently, you can see that a week ago it's been here, right? Pretty crazy. Actually, two weeks, so never mind. Uh, okay, so I know how to check if it's realistic or not. So what we're going to do now to figure the potential movement is we're going to analyze one of the candles. And which candle are we we're going to take? This is today, so obviously uh, yesterday. Okay, let's take yesterday. Yesterday was the 28. 28 for Fab. And that's 2023. Okay, so we have few things here. Let's put down open, close, high, low. What are those things? Who knows what are those things? Actually, you know what? I, I'm going to take this one just because it's a little more interesting. And then we can uh, enjoy this one a little more than that one because I believe it's a little more educational. Yeah. So we're going to put it open. What is the open 704? Five close. Okay. Um high is seven twenty three and the low seven oh five twenty five right and the 709 is 0.5 right so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the open with the close and then the high and the lows and then we'll have proportions of what to expect right and that's going to be 705 75 sorry 705 75 minus 709 0.5 and that's 375 great and the 72325 sorry i put i typed it in the wrong place 705 25 excellent so we have 18 can somebody explain to me what's happening here 18 and 3 how come there is such a big uh, big difference how how come i have difference between open and close is only three barely four and the difference between the open the, and the high and the low is 18 how is that proportional can somebody explain to me how is that so different let me in the meantime put you the answer with the answer with uh, with the lines here Anybody has an answer for me? Volatility. Market undecided. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. But guys, what are we looking at right now? What happened on that day? What do you think that happened on that day, right? The candle is green. The candle is green, so I have a reason to believe that it's the, the uh, close is bigger than the, the open, is higher than the open, right? That's for sure. We know that. Otherwise, the candle would have been red. Although, although by judging this candle, okay, I can see that the highest that it's been is 703, uh, 723, and then it closed much lower than that, 709, right? So possibly if I open this candle uh, surgically, so I can see that it went up and then down. Who agree with me? Who think that it, it went higher and then fall and then fell? And who does, doesn't agree with me? So I think it's when it went up and then down. Now, the reason that I have to think this way is because of this lovely tail. So this is a reversed hammer, right? Look how nice this candle is. Uh, can I summarize it this way? 
will it work apparently okay so we have a reverse timer here that the wheat has gotten to this level and then it fell so if i'm opening the hours okay what happened is as you can see it rose all the way here and then it started falling and then it started consolidating around this area now how could i possibly know that because look at the shape of this candle it's a tail over here right and this tail is a level that wheat couldn't break otherwise it would have proceeded just like that you see three candles almost three candles three candles right so tail up exactly thank you marco so we're gonna carry on and analyze the candle here so this is uh this is another reason to believe that wheat can possibly go up because it's been up and then it fell now if i'm looking at the atr the average true range which is the indicator we have applied as you can see here it's stating that it's 12 12 and i assume that if we add if we add uh, 375 plus 18 right and a half i think it was divided by two how much is that almost as much as our indicator so our indicator play along with us right you see the indicator is uh 12.4 as you can see it's written here 12.4 right so this is the difference now uh i'm gonna aim not for four i'm gonna aim for ten ten dollars okay who can tell me why i'm aiming for ten and not for uh 12 or any other number why 10 and not 12 why go for a lower figure not 12 who knows that it's not mandatory it's really for intermediate advanced kind of a question space for security perfect nice all right how do i get the video for this webinar uh like i said Teresa, it's on our uh youtube channel so you shouldn't have a problem uh, seeing that later on the recorded version all right so we're going to aim for 10. who can tell me how many units so our fourth now we're, we're composing a position so our fourth element would be units units right units that is necessary to acquire a thousand dollars with wheat now judge uh, using this equation right we're gonna take the thousand and divide it by 10 how many units do we need guys perfect how many people that's so nice to see more people more people to comment how many units do we need uh, guys to get to a thousand dollars with wheat very good very good i'm very proud of you okay so we're gonna put here 100 right let's test it out let's test it out let's put it on the chart okay and see if it works okay now we said a minute ago we spoke about something called take profit take profit is a price that i'm placing on the chart i'm marking on the chart and if it gets to this price to my favor it's going to close my position with the profit now since we're aiming for ten dollar up where should my take profit would be guys where where is ten dollar higher than the price that it's at right now 706 where is it who can tell me where where is ten dollar higher here right here okay let's go with 7 uh, 15 and i'm going to tell you about another pending order that is called execute when price hits and for that we're going to change to 705 main reason is the same idea for me buying something in a discount rather than in shelf price i'm waiting for we to go down just a little more to 705 and then i'll have the 715 grasping ten dollar as we planned 715 how come is a uh, oh sorry didn't change the okay and the stop loss okay so stop loss how do we define the stop loss guys how do we so take profit take profit is 715 okay entry 705 
All right, great. And stop loss is where, how could I know? How can I, how can I place my stop loss? Guys, how do I, so the take profit, I know, uh, $10 higher. What happens if I, let's try and make it $10 lower. Let's see what happens. Six ninety-five. yeah. I will lose $1,000. Let's try and put it here. You guys tell me if you think it's a good idea or not. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of this guy. Otherwise, it's going to keep uh, giving us problems. And also, we have to somehow... That's a problem. I wanted to show you a lower price, but it doesn't seem like the chart is going to let me. Okay, we'll, we'll try it this way. Will it show us? No. So guys, um, 6.95, how good that would be as a stop loss? Right? What do you think? 695, is that okay? 695. Outcome is thousand dollar loss. Right? Ten thousand minus one thousand loss equals ninety thousand uh, nine thousand, which is ten percent exposure. How is that, guys? How is the risk money management? How is my risk money management? What do you think, guys? Did I put it? Ah, there we go. Not happy. Okay, so most of my audience doesn't like the idea to be very gentle. Okay, this is a disaster. 10% is too high. It's very bad. Okay, okay. So you guys not really big fan of 10%. What is better than 10%? What would you say if 10% is, uh, it's too high. So 0.5%, Marcelo, that's very, very conservative. Very conservative. Ryan two percent, uh, Hardeep two to five percent, Nympha two to percent, Mark two percent, Melissa two percent. Okay, two to five percent. Okay, all right, all right. Draco, we have a question from Draco. I do not understand a single thing that's happening. Draco, what I suggest in this case that you will uh, re-watch the webinar. You re-watch the webinar and then you'll understand. But what, what, what doesn't make sense? If you want to put a question, tell me, please. What doesn't make sense? And then I'll do my best to explain. But we have advanced. We have advanced since the beginning. Okay, so most of my audience, 2 to 5%, right? How do we shape the 10% to 5? What must we do to make the 1,000, right, 500? How can we do that? What do we go about it? There are two things, two things, units and movements that determines my potential loss. What do you think? What must I do to make my thousand exposure only 5% instead of 10? What must I reduce? Good answer from Melissa. Who else? Who can tell me what must I do to reduce the thousand to a 500? Okay, position size. Sounds good. But if I reduce the position size, what will happen is my profit will be reduced as well, right? So what else can I do? You must balance. Exactly. Thank you, Miguel. So exactly. So if I move the stop loss too close, 
let's try i move it to here what will happen is it will be too close right if i move it to to here what will happen is it will be too close okay so i must balance whether my stop loss is in a good uh, place or it's too close okay in this case we're not gonna put too much effort to analysis but we're gonna make it uh yeah we're gonna make it 700 okay all right so everything makes sense we have stop loss we have take profit we have everything written down everything makes sense okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we have enough money to take this position okay how much this position cost let's see its value value seventy thousand eight fifty which is units multiply price right if i acquire if i buy just a single bushel so that's 707 if i buy so many if i buy 100 how much will it be this much because i have leverage leverage right so what let's you buy or sell more with same balance yes with pleasure okay and now we want to see our leverages one to ten so we are multiplied one to ten and that means that we can divide the value by ten right we are multiplied by ten so that means that we can divide our value by 10 and then our margin impact is only 7090 right okay all right guys do we have enough money to take this position and even if we do do you think that this is a, a, that this is a position that we should take budget wise budget wise do you think that we have enough money and even if we have should we use our money okay to take this position 100 units one lot of wheat what do you think this is usage of 70 percent 70 percent of our capital is that a wise decision mad yeah okay okay so if 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 just as an idea if i reduce the 10 the 100 to 10 and instead of making a thousand dollar a week i make a hundred dollar a week and instead of losing potentially 500 I lose only 50 and then everything has a a different shape okay is that something you are willing to accept right is that more reasonable let me just quickly change uh, yeah I hope that everything that I did make more sense what do you feel what, what what do you think about the small change that we have done is this more reasonable is this does this make more sense great 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 so everybody's happy uh draco again i am very sorry that you don't understand what we're doing like i said i suggest that you see again the webinar because at this point we are already uh, we are already much more advanced than in the beginning so if you see it from the beginning it would make more sense right now we've already uh okay margin impact number uh bec okay so let let's understand let's understand how it works when i acquire one one unit it costs 707 when i acquire a five unit it costs 707 multiply five when i acquire 10 that's 707 multiply 10 right 
So the value is determined by multiplying the units with the price that I have. Right? Does it make sense? For some reason, it doesn't let me change. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. So as you can see, of course, of course. So uh, I think I will have to review it again. Guys, this is great, really. This is great. Whoever are, un whoever understood, I see most of the people here, right? Uh, even myself, I don't really understand what's going on. So Majabi and Draco and um, whoever didn't understand what we're doing you can see the webinar as many times as you want but i do get a good feedback from most of the audience uh for future webinars for future webinars i would like to get some feedback from the audience we still have another three minutes to go do you guys feel that the speed of the webinar the pace that we are moving is that acceptable or it's too fast because some people here acceptable okay of course of course it's a pleasure it's a pleasure whoever understood whoever learned something from my webinar even a small thing okay so sajid here is saying too fast but again guys you have to understand that i'm i i've been given from ava trade certain things that i have to cover during the webinar and if i put so much time on one topic the other topics are uh, don't get enough time so i'd rather teach the important things and then the rest is uh, is a bonus uh yeah you need to do some basic background i agree i agree i agree but there is a limit how much i can delay on certain things like i said to draco and to majabi and to uh, sajid I cannot delay forever. This is why we recorded the webinar. And, uh, but I'm happy. Whoever understood, I see very uh, a lot of people understood what I said. And I'm happy that you understood and you learned something. Uh, yeah. So, guys, we have another two minutes. We have another two minutes. And please share with me any thoughts that you have, any questions that you have before we say goodbye. Anything you would like me to give a word about in a nutshell oh i i i reminded myself to remind you guys tomorrow uh tomorrow i will not be given the live q a that we're usually doing on thursday we have another person called uh, simon friedman he is an excellent excellent um educator really i'm sure you will enjoy i highly recommend you to joy to join his live q a broadcast is no less than mine maybe even better and ask all of your questions there you can ask all of the questions there he will explain and show you out on the chart the answers um yeah other than that uh let me think that's 12 uk time 12 uk time you should receive an email with the link but otherwise you can ask your senior account manager and he will send you the link for the live q a uh yeah so you can like i said you can you can go to the live chat you can uh, get for an assignment mm -hmm. no 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 it doesn't cost anything it doesn't cost anything if you go to the live chat but you must activate the account if you want to get a senior account manager it doesn't cost but you have to yeah yeah go ahead any questions like i said we have another, oh, we, our time is up, but if it's a quick one, yeah, of course, tell me. Of course, of course, of course, of course. You can see it as many times as you want in our YouTube. Uh, how much is the minimum amount to fund my account? I believe it's 100 or maybe $500. I'm not exactly sure about it, but like I said, try and make a deposit with something and they'll get back to you uh yeah so guys like i said like i said unfortunately this is done for today guys it's been a pleasure i'll see you in a week time best of luck with your trading uh make a lot of money and have a good day